Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, just picture this, have you ever wanted to watch like a huge screen in a very small space? Well, today's video is going to be all about that because I do happen to have the BenQ GV30 projector. Now, I haven't actually covered any projectors on the channel before, so this is going to be my first one and I'm super excited to share my experience with you guys. Now, first things first, we've got to talk a bit about what actually came in the box of this GV30. Well, obviously, we do have a very nice carrying case and as soon as you pop the lid, this is where you get a couple of power adapters. You also have the magnetic stand, the GV30 itself, a very nice remote. And last but not least, you also have a media streaming device. Now this media streaming device is very important, which we will talk a bit more later on. All right, so just looking at the GV30 itself, I personally like this design a lot because it doesn't look like any other typical projectors out there. Not only is it super small and compact, it's also very lightweight. It's just 1.6 kilograms and you know, I'm a skinny guy and this actually does feel very lightweight. Apart from that, if you just take a look at the parts here, we do have your typical HDMI, you have a Type-C port, you have a headphone jack as well, guys. And last but not least, this is the power input button. Um, apart from that, if you just flip the device to the sides here, this is where you see we have a couple of control buttons. You have your power button, you have your volume adjuster, and of course, you have that Bluetooth button because you can connect Bluetooth devices to the GV30. Super cool. It has actually won a couple of awards, guys. Uh, this design, let me know what you think about it. Now, moving on, let's talk a bit about how you actually set up this GV30 because it's super simple. First things you need to do is actually to put in the streaming device at the back here. Next, you put it on a magnetic stand, adjust the angle, power it on, and you are literally good to go. Right, so about that magnetic stand, it's actually very interesting because all you need to do is just slide the device on it to actually adjust the angle. Now, speaking about the angle, the GV30 has a 135 degree projection angle. And the cool thing here is that no matter what, how you adjust the angle, you will be able to get a clear image for two main reasons. The first reason here is because the device comes with autofocus. That means that as soon as you move the device, it will notice that you have made some movements and it will start to focus the image on its own. Very awesome there. Now, the second thing that it has is the auto vertical keystone. And you know, sometimes when you tilt the device, you will notice that the shape of your image actually runs a little bit. So what this device will do is automatically align it back correctly. So you always see a correct image. All right, so now let's move on and talk a little bit about the viewing experience. How does it actually feel like to watch movies on this guy? Well, first things first, we've got to talk a little bit about the resolution. In terms of resolution, this guy here pushes out a maximum of 720p. Now, I did wish that it was 1080p because it would be a slightly sharper, but I think 720p for this device is actually quite all right. I was able to watch movies quite clearly here and it was definitely very acceptable for a device of this size. Apart from that, if you're wondering how big the screen goes, BenQ says that the maximum size can actually go up to 100 inches and that is actually very large. Next, in terms of image quality, how does it really look in terms of the colors? Well, it's worth noting that the BenQ GV30 comes pre-installed with a couple of picture modes such as bright, cinema, daytime, game, living room, and even sports. So you will definitely have the best setting for your colors of your image with the built-in presets. Apart from that, the device itself supports a 98% REC 709 color space coverage, so it can show more true and accurate colors. Now, brightness levels-wise, this might also be something of your concern. The BenQ GV30 is able to go up to 300 lumens and that is actually quite bright. However, my best recommendation to you is always to watch the movies in a darker space because you will get the best image. I did notice that my space had a couple of lights on the walls behind, but I was still able to see the image very clearly, so definitely not a big issue there. If you happen to want to watch movies like during the day, I will definitely recommend you to go with the daytime you know, preset so you can actually get the best setting so you can actually watch the content quite all right. So having said that, I think we must also touch a little bit on the kind of content that you can watch. All right, so with the provided media streaming device, at the back here, you're actually able to access Google TV, which is super easy to use. You can also share your phone screen through Apple AirPlay. Apart from that, you can also watch Netflix. You know, YouTube is definitely there for sure. And more importantly for myself, I use Amazon Prime a lot. So there's a lot of movies that you can actually watch on the big screen. No issues with content whatsoever. Now moving on to audio, this is also something that you might be wondering about. And the cool thing here is that 
The GV30 does come with a built-in 2.1 system channel that features dual 4 watt mid-range tweeters and a powerful 8 watt woofer. It has a lot of deep bass and the clarity of the audio is also very good here. In any case, if you have a very high-end you know, speaker that you want to use, you can always connect it using your Bluetooth built-in. You know, and you can even use it to connect your earbuds if you don't want to disturb the person next to you. Awesome stuff there. Now last but not least, the final cool feature about the GV30 that I really like here is in terms of its built-in battery. There is actually a built-in battery that allows you to watch a maximum of two and a half hours with this GV30. And I think it's really awesome because sometimes you are going to places where there is just, you know, there's no power socket nearby and you want to watch a couple of shows, then you can actually use the built-in battery to watch the movie, which again is very, very convenient. All right, so at the end of the day, what do I think about the BenQ GV30? Well, definitely there's a lot of things to like. Pricing-wise, it's going for slightly more than 2,600 ringgit here in Malaysia. I'll put some links down below if you want to check that out because, you know, there might be promotions ongoing. But yeah, uh, let me know if you have any further questions about this device. I'll be ha more than happy to help you guys out. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. And yep, hope to see you guys in the next one. Do stay safe, everybody. Bye.